We have three different safety systems on each Davy truck. Well, actually, quite a bit more than that. We have three safety systems just on the plumbing, on the pumping systems. Uh, the first safety system uh, is on the return manifold. So if for some reason you had all of these valves closed and you were trying to pump liquid, this relief valve would open up and relieve this pressure off of this manifold back into the suction manifold so that you wouldn't have broken hoses or hoses pop off and chemicals flying everywhere. That's the first safety system. The next safety system is on the high pressure manifold where your regulator is attached and exactly the same thing. If for some reason this would jam or the regulator would uh, somehow fail and you couldn't pump water through it, this relief valve will release and let the pressure off back into the suction manifold. Another safety item I'd like to talk about is the fact that we put an eye wash uh, right here close to where you're doing all of your work so if some accident happens you do have eye wash right here. If for some reason your hose reels stop working or your electric pump won't start because of an electrical problem or your electric transfer pump won't start uh, we have a battery right here that controls all the electric on the truck and there's a 50 amp circuit breaker on top of this battery. So if you simply take the lid off the top of the battery, all you need to do is push the red button that says a 50 on top of it and all of your electrical systems should magically function again. If this is something that's popping very frequently, you're having trouble with your hose reels on a frequent basis, uh, there are also special uh, solenoids and so forth for each of the hose reels. That could be a problem. Uh, but give us a call if there's some issue about uh, those items because we'll need to look farther than just resetting a circuit breaker. Another thing I want to make mention of is this particular half inch hose reel. Uh, we have two different pumps going into the hose reel, both your 60 gallon a minute pump and your 20 gallon a minute pump both feed into the half inch hose reel. On the other hand, only the large 60 gallon a minute pump feeds the three quarter inch hose reel. But just to make sure it's easy and there's no problems for you as a technician, there are check valves on either side of this hose reel. So there's a feed on the right hand side of the hose reel going in. There's also a feed on the left hand side of the hose reel going in. There's a check valve on each side so when you're when you're pumping in from one side of the hose reel, it cannot go through the hose reel and out to the other side into who knows where. I also want to point out a safety uh, issue while we're back here, and that is our camera. Uh, this camera is set up when we deliver the truck to be on all the time that the engine's running, basically, or all the time that the transmission is in gear. Um, you can set it up just as a reverse camera but we find that many of the technicians like to have it on all the time. So in case uh, someone pulls up too close to them at a stoplight or a stop sign, or um, if somebody walks behind them, uh, even when they're not in reverse, they would like to know that. So we basically deliver the truck with the camera on all the time. If you want to change that, uh, you can certainly do that. And the instructions with the camera are, are pretty easy about setup and changing and so forth. The other thing I should probably mention, you already know this, but you never start a pump with the pressure on. In this case, this is a regulator for your large 60 gallon per minute pump. This is the regular for your smaller 20 gallon per minute pump. You never want to start um, a pump with pressure in the system. And when you stop spraying it, you want to take pressure off of the system. So you want to take the pressure out of the system. The other thing, as you know, is that you don't want to start a pump until you have a source and return tank open or a suction line and a return line open for a tank. So in this case, we have a 200 gallon tank open here. So now we can start one of the pumps because we have a source of liquid and a place to return that liquid once it goes through the pump. Uh, very serious problem if you don't set this up before you start to uh, one of the pumps on the truck. Now I'd like to talk about a couple other safety items that are on the truck and uh, we're actually going to open the door of the cab here to talk about two of those items. 
Uh, one is the fire extinguisher right here inside of the operator's door so you can get to it very quickly. And right in front of the seat you also have a first aid kit. Uh, so those are two safety items in addition to the eye wash kit which we pointed out on the other side of the truck. We talked about some safety features on the other side. Now I'd like to pick up some more safety features on this side of the truck. And on the manifold system we talked about two safety features with the spray system itself. On this side of the truck we can see the third of those three items and that's this vacuum relief valve. This little brass uh, fitting uh, mounted in this pump and the other pump has one as well. If for some reason this pump is trying to operate and it cannot get enough liquid or if it can't get any liquid because there's no suction valve open, this valve will open and let air into the system so that the pump does not destroy itself. This is something you don't want to fool with. It's set at a, a preset setting and it, it has to remain at that particular setting. But this is the third safety system on the spray system itself. It's critically important and uh, it's good that it's here. When we talk about this large 60 gallon minute pump, high pressure, 700 PSI, driven by the truck's engine, obviously it has a huge amount of power, but the danger is also that you can overspeed this pump. It cannot go more than 600 RPMs, and obviously the truck's engine can go a lot faster than that. Now there is linkage between the transmission speed, there's a reducer um, uh, uh, torque box that links all this stuff together, so the speeds of the engine of the truck and the speed of this pump are not the same whatsoever. However, there is a maximum speed that the engine can run without doing damage to the pump and there's a tag inside the truck right above the PTO switch that says warning do not operate over 1500 RPM with PTO engaged. That's a critically important warning. If you run the truck or you try to drive away with the power takeoff still in gear and you drive over 1500 RPMs uh, you're going to do damage to this pump and this is a very very expensive pump so you do not want to do that. But the other thing that you need to know is that for many of your applications you do not need to run, in fact you, we do not recommend you run this pump at anywhere close to its maximum speed. If you're just root feeding and two people are doing that you can just run the truck at idle and it'll be pumping 20-25 gallons a minute and that'll be more than enough for two applicators to do root feeding. Uh, on the other hand, if you're doing a tree that's 60 to 70 feet high, you probably only need 30 to 40 gallons a minute and maybe you only need 400 PSI of pressure. Here again, the, the truck does not have to run at full RPM to make this pump go as fast as it needs to go to pump the maximum volume and maximum pressure. So we would ask you to think carefully about how uh, the truck can be used most efficiently, particularly the pump used most efficiently uh, to do the work that you need to do and then make the adjustments accordingly. There is a, a throttle switch attached to this uh, where you can change the uh, RPM of the truck in small grades. It's like a speed control uh, switch so that you can control how fast uh, you want this particular pump to operate. So consider carefully how you want to use the pump, what you need to use it for, and how you need to set up your truck to operate at maximum efficiency and still get the job done that you need to do.